Good morning, everyone. I have a vision that I would like to share with you all. I should have shared this vision over a month now, but I hesitated. But I believe that now is the time for me to share this vision with you all. And also the Bible says, if the watchman see the sword coming and warn not the people, then the blood will be on the watchman's shoulder. And I don't want any blood to be on my shoulder. So I'm just going to share it with you guys. Praise God. On the night of the 4th of July, I got a vision that I was caught up and the heaven was above and I was in the middle. And when I looked down, like I was literally set, set over looking down into hell. I want to tell somebody today that hell is real. Hell is real. When I was looking down into hell, it was a terrible, terrible scene. The fire was just blazing. And when you look at the fire, it is red as blood. It was just blazing, 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 red as blood. And it just, it's a open. I don't see any walls, anything like that. It, it's a place of a bottomless pit. It, it like if you drop something down into the fire, it have no bottom. I did not saw anyone in hell. But I could have, I could heard their voices. There was a lot of weeping. There was a lot of wailing. I'm going to tell you this today, my friends, that it is not the, the cry that we heard in our everyday life when somebody died or or something bad is happening. It's, that's not the cry. It's a different type of weeping. It's a weeping and a wailing sound. Coming from one part of hell. They were, you just hear the voices weeping. And wailing. And mourning. Want to get out of hell. But it was too late. I myself was crying. I was just weeping because of the persons that have gone down to hell. I was crying. I was weeping. I was weeping. It was like a different sound of weeping. I was weeping myself. When I listened to the voices, when I heard the voices crying, the sun coming down, coming up out of hell. I was crying. And one of the time when I couldn't take the scene anymore. I, I started to weep. I, guess I, I said, God, please. Get me out. Wake me out of this vision. Oh God, it's too terrible for me to see. I just cannot stand to see it anymore. Get me out of this vision. Please, I'm begging you, God. Please, God. Please, God. Please, God. Get me out of this vision. Get me out of this vision. That's what I was crying out to God. And one of the time he wanted was to show me something else. I, I, and I said, I cannot, I cannot take to see anything else. I cannot bear. I said, God, my heart cannot allow me to see anything else. Please get me out. Get me out of this vision. Wake me out. I want to get out. Because the scene of hell is too much for me to see. I want to tell somebody today. Whether you believe it or not. Hell is real. Hell is a real place. Hell is a place of torment. And hell is a place that you do not want to go.
It was a terrible scene. I am not going to add and I'm not going to take away. But one thing I want to tell you that hell is real and I had to share this to let somebody know that hell is real because I don't want the blood to be on my shoulder when God actually took me there to see hell. I can't keep it to myself. I have to let somebody know that hell is real. And I want to say to my Christian friends, take a grip on another grip. Because hell is real. I want to say to my sinner friends, run for your life. Because hell is real. You have a choice to make. There is two roads before you. God has place two roads before us and it's us for us to pick our choice the the, the 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 road that is broad that lead down to hell it is your choice if you want to go on that route but there's a road that is narrow and leads to life everlasting. The, the, the narrow road when you are when you when you take that road, it's gonna lead to paradise, a place where there will be no weeping, a place where there will be no mourning. Hallelujah. A place where we'll be, where we will be joyful forevermore. I just want to let you know that hell is real. When I finally woke up from that vision, my husband is a living witness. All I could have done is slide out of the bed, down on my knees, repenting all over again. Asking God to have mercy upon me. Asking God to forgive me of all my sins. Hallelujah. Because hell is a place that I do not want to go. And I do not want you to go there either. The scene is terrible. The sounds that come in from hell is terrible. Weeping and wailing. You don't want to go there, my friends. Today is a day of salvation. Harden not your heart. The morning. Listen. When I, when I, when I woke up from the vision and I went down on my knees and I prayed and I bawled and I cry out to God, I could not fall back asleep. I had to, to, to switch on the light. I was so scared. Just the scene of hell. I was so scared. My husband was lying beside me. But I was so scared. I had to turn the lights on. And my eyes could not close again. I had a doctor's appointment the following morning. When I went there, my blood pressure was so high. Mm. I want to tell somebody, take heed. The word have been preached day in and day out. Telling you to escape hell. Take heed. Because if you miss heaven, you will just be in time for hell. And hell is a place that you do not want to go. Hell is a place that I do not want to go. Run for your life. Don't let Satan use you. 
Don't let Satan fool you and show you things and let you think that after death is ju you're just done. Nothing like that. When the first trumpet sound, the dead in Christ shall rise. We who are alive and remain will be caught up to meet God in the ear. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There's going to be a day of judgment when all eyes shall behold God. There's going to come a day when the trump of God shall sound, brethren. Where are you going to run? Where are you going to hide? I just stop by to tell you today that hell is real because I've seen it with my own eyes. I said hell is real. Hell is a place that I do not wish upon anybody at all. Because hell is a place of torment. Hell is a place of weeping and wailing. I encourage you today to see God before it is too late. Seek him. Today is the day of salvation. Harden not your hearts. Today is the day of salvation. Harden not your hearts. And whether you believe it or not, hell is real. Hell is real. Hell is real. But you don't have to go there. You can escape hell by accepting Jesus Christ in your life as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ came on this earth so that we might have life and have it more abundantly. It is not the will of God for any of us to perish. But for all of us to have eternal life. God bless you today in Jesus name. Shalom.